हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल एंड यूटिलाइजिंग योर टाइम सो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर सेकेंड यूनिट ऑफ जनरल नॉलेज दैट इज स्पोर्ट्स वर्ल्ड एंड इन दिस यूनिट वी आर हैविंग फाइव चैप्टर्स फर्स्ट वन इज फीफा विनर्स देन मार्शल आर्ट्स एंड बेल्ट इंस्परेशनल ओलंपिक मोमेंट्स famous paralympic athletes and last one is indian premier league so students our first chapter is fifa winners the federation international de football association that is fifa is an association that organizes major worldwide football tournaments the world cup and women's world cup that are held every 4 years in different countries the first world cup was played in 1930 and women's world cup commenced in 1991 so here we have to match the host countries and the year of fifa tournaments with the winning countries so first uh, first of all In 1930, first FIFA tournament was held. At that time, Uruguay was the host country, and the winning country was also Uruguay. Next, in 1934, Italy was the host country, and winning country was also Italy. In next, uh, 1954, Switzerland was the host country, and Germany was the winner. Then in 1958 Sweden was the host country and Brazil was the winner. Then in 1966 England was the host country and England was the winner also. Then in 1978 Argentina was the host country and Argentina was the winner also. In 2010 South Africa was the host country and Spain was the winner. Then in tw- uh, 2014 Brazil was the host country and West Germany was the winner and in 2018 Moscow was the host country and France was the winner then you can see in more to know in uh, 2018 world cup was first world cup where video assistant referee have been utilized video assistant referee is an assistant referee who reviews the decision made by the head referee with the use of video footage and headsets for communication next second chapter is martial arts and belts so martial arts are the multiple styles of uh, fighting practiced with or without weapons for various purposes including self defense some of the famous martial arts are karate taekwondo and judo in every martial arts students are given belts of different colors to signify their level of experience in martial arts depending on the skills achieved the grading and the ranking of the martial arts belts change so here some clues are there and different colors of belts are there so we have to arrange we have to order these belts in which these belts are given to a karate trainer or sorry karate learner so seven colors uh, belts are here so we have to arrange them in the order so first one is white belt so white belt is given to the beginners so white belt is the representation of very initial level of karate it is worn by the student who have just started their study about karate so this white belt symbolizes their enthusiasm to learn and clean slate next yellow belt so the clues uh, is given at the last you can see the be- yellow belt is given to the student who, who are open to accept more possible techniques and methods so yellow belt is on second number yellow belt awarded to a student who uh, demonstrates that he is actually adopting this learning phase in a fruitful way it also symbolizes that the first beam of sunlight that actually gives new rays and hopes every morning so this yellow belt gives hope to a learner that he is actually learning and practicing at his best next one 
third uh, rank is given to the orange belt so orange belt is given to the students who are expanding their knowledge in the field means orange belt represents that student has further opened up his mind and his skills are improving rapidly means he uh, his mind and skills are improving very fastly just like when sun rays turn orange give representation of growing strength of sun orange belt also symbolizes improvement in individual skills then fourth number is given to the green belt so green belt is given to the students who are developing new skills and learning new techniques to master the skills so green belt represents a very um, basic steps of karate learning and uh, this have been uh, accomplished successfully green belt is awarded to uh, intermediate students who are uh, refining their skills then fifth number is given to the blue belt so blue belt is given to the students who are gaining a deeper understanding of each move in the art means each uh, green uh, blue belt represents further improvement and uh, one level up it is awarded to students who have started uh, learning technique technical skills and uh, additional knowledge about karate blue color symbolizes that minds and bodies of students are continuously growing then sixth number is given to the brown belt brown belt is given to the students who have gained sufficient knowledge about the skills and are ready to combat so brown belt just like ripening seeds which are ready to harvest the brown color in karate belt represents the student skill are getting matured and his uh, leveling up to higher expertise so brown belt is awarded to students whose techniques have begun to mature and the last one the seventh number is given to the black belt so black belt is given to the students who have mastered all the skills means it is awarded to students who seek to gain deeper and complete understanding of physical and mental teaching of karate and many people after receiving black belts are considered to be expertise in the in their domain and they start passing on their skills to others now you can see more to know the first judo school was founded in 1882 by a japanese man called zigoro kano he introduced the belt system in judo in india first of all uh, this judo was uh, promoted by ravindranath tagore then third chapter is inspirational olympic moments so we know that at every 4 years the world is in the grip of olympic fevers and besides providing a platform to athletes from around the world to come together and show their talents the olympic games have been bringing to into light hundreds of inspirational moments also and darone pierre founded the international olympic committee that is ioc in 1894 leading to the first modern games in athens means first of all it had st uh, started in athens on 6th april 1896 and uh, baron pierre is known as a father of modern olympics so here five inspirational moments uh, from the olympics are given and we have to identify the athlete or teams involved in the moment so first you can see the image of that uh, this athlete this ethiopian athlete is the only olympian to have won the marathon twice till date in the year 1960 and 1964 he gained popularity in the 1960 rome olympics by becoming the first eastern african to win a gold medal Initially the onlookers were surprised to see him bare feet on the tracks and thought he forgot to wear shoes however it was later discovered that he was not accustomed to running 
ensues prior to becoming an olympian he was a shepherd and had also worked as a bodyguard of the ethiopian king hale sel selis to learn to earn a living and his name is abebe bekela second one you can see his image during the semi finals at the barcelona olympics in 1992 the hamstring of the british athlete stabbed making him crash to the ground in pain but he did not give up and ran 50 more meters in excruciating pain after which his father carried him to the finish line helping him complete the race though he got disqualified and was listed did not finish due to the outside assistance in finishing the race the incident went on to create history besides receiving a standing ovation for their display of sportsmanship indomitable will and never say die attitude on the ground the father son duo became the subject of one of the international olympic committee's celebrate humanity videos which was also featured in nike's courage commercial later and name of the athlete is Derek Redmond now this is a team the team was forced to introduce bobsleigh a sports wherein a two or four member team sits on a push cart and slides through on the snow at a furiously high speed in their country jamaica they had never heard or seen the sports or its equipment before qualifying for 1988 winter olympics held in calgary alberta the fate saw a turn when jamaica decided to recruit people from the army of bobsleigh in 1987 for people four people enlisted to champion the cause they made a makeshift push cart and practiced on the army base to be able to take part in the calgary olympics and name of the four people enlisted are dudley stokes frederick powell michael white and devon harris next one is on 22nd february 1980 an american ice hockey team comprising young amateurs defeated the soviet national ice hockey team consisting of experienced professionals who had won the games in 5 out of the 6 winter olympic events the arena in lake placid new york where the olympic match was held is named after the american coach who has led the team to a 4-3 victory simply by believing in the team and name of the coach was herb brooks in next image you can see in the year 2016 a citizen of vatorn syria fled her country due to bombings and reached greece via lebanon and turkey to participate in the rio olympics on her way 30 minutes after setting off from turkey the boat she was traveling on began to sink being a strong swimmer she swam for 3 year, uh, 3 hours in the oceans saving and bringing all the people on the boat to the shore she represented the refugee contingent at the rio 2016 olympics and name of this athlete is yusra mardini now you can see in the more to know the olympic flag has five interlaced rings of blue yellow black green and red colors in the center of a white background the rings represent five continents of the world united by olympus and these five continents are europe asia africa the americas and oceania Now fourth chapter is famous paralympic athletes similar to olympics paralympics is a major multi sport event it is held for specially able athletes such as those with impaired motor or sensory functions and muscle diseases as well as paralytics first of all this paralympics started in 1960 so here some description along with images are given and we have to identify and we have to name the 
Paralympic athletes. So first of all, you can see the image of the first one. She is a swimmer from the USA. Even though she is a blind, she is blind from birth. She competed in Paralympics and has won highest number of medals in swimming at the Paralympic Games. And her name is Trisha John. Next one, she is a Norwegian skier who has won multiple gold medals at Paralympic Games. She holds a record of winning the highest number of medals in Winter Paralympics, and her name is Ranhild Michaelburst. Third one, you can see, he is the first Indian Paralympian to win two golds in javelin throw, one in. 2004 and another in 2016 his name is devendra jhacharya he is from chiro districts of rajasthan next she is a german alpine ski racer who lost one of her uh, legs in a farm accident when she was 3 she has 19 paralympic medals on, to her credit and her name is reen hilt moyler next one she is a first indian woman to win a medal in paralympic games in 2016 summer paralympics she won a silver medal in short put her name is deepa malik and she belongs from haryana next one he is a high jumper who represented india in the 2016 summer paralympic games and won the gold in the finals and his name is mariyappam thangavelu and he belongs from Tamil Nadu. You can see in more to know, Murli Khan Petkar is the first Paralympic athlete from India to win an individual gold medal in the 1972 Summer Paralympics. Next one, fifth chapter is Indian Premier League. So professional leagues are bodies that governs the competition of their team. They make the rules for competition and also keep the behavior of its members in check. These leagues have different teams that play against each other. One of the professional sports league in India is the Indian Premier League, that is IPL. IPL is a professional twenty twenty. cricket league which was established in 2008 by the boards or by the board of control for cricket in india that is bcci in the same franchise and knockout format as the english premier league it is played in a round robin format where teams representing major indian cities and states plays each other by turn the ipl matches are played on a home away basis the play off matches are played by the top four teams that finished at the top of the tables in a series of knockout matches the two the top two teams from the league play each other in the first qualifying match with the winning team going straight to the ipl finals and the losing team getting another chance to qualify for the ipl finals by playing the second qualifying match meanwhile the third and the fourth teams from the league play each other in an eliminator match and the winner plays the second qualifying match the winner of the second qualifying match moves to the finals to play with the winner of the first qualifying match in the final match the winning team is crowned to the indian premier league champion the owner of the ipl franchise includes major companies bollywood stars and media moguls they bet for the best players in the auction organized by the league the first tournament of ipl was held in 2008 and was won by the rajasthan royals the team was captained by shane warne who was an australian bowler ipl is currently contested by eight teams consisting of players from around the world so here right uh, we have to write the names of ipl uh, 2018 teams and their captains so first of all image first image you can see 
this is the image of kane williamson and he was the uh, he is the captain of sunrisers hyderabad now second one is a virat kohli and he is the captain of royal challengers bangalore next one is ms dhoni and he is the captain of chennai super kings then fourth one is dinesh karthik and he is the captain of kolkata night riders then ravi chandra ashwin he is the captain of kings 11 punjab then sixth one is shreyas ayer and he is the captain of delhi daredevils now delhi daredevils are named as uh, delhi capitals in december 2018 team changed its name from delhi daredevils to De delhi capitals seventh one is rohit sharma and he is the captain of mumbai indians and eighth one is ajinkya rahane he is the cap he was the captain uh, captain of uh, rajasthan royals now ajinkya rahane is uh, the member of uh, is a cricketer of uh, delhi capitals and steve smith is currently he is the captain of rajasthan royals so this is all about your uh, second unit of gk thank you students